everybody, it's Chrissy Pixie here, and I'm here making a, uh, actually this is my first mod showcase, I'm making a mod showcase, well sorta, of. I, I, I don't know the complete mod, but I'm doing what I really, I'm doing custom NPCs, yeah, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do the dialogues, cause I know it's kinda difficult, and I could never find anything on how to make the dialogues actually connect to each other, but then I figured it out on my own. So I thought I would make a video for those who couldn't find anything to help them with dialogues. So let's get started. So as you probably saw over here, I have some madness going on because I was playing with it. Okay, so this uh, is my creations. Oh dear. Okay, basically how to start your custom NPCs is by going over, basically all I have is one, two mods, three mods, because I have to find and stuff, but you know, you gotta go over here into your thing, and you go to custom NPCs tools thing, grab your NPC wand, and then you basically just right, right click the ground, but right now I'm gonna show you these dudes. These are actually player skins, uh, here I typed in poopsie, and I got, <laughs> I got this. <laughs> And his animation here, basically, I made him into a puppet, which you you do if you want to make them do things. Like, if you're doing a role play and you want to have, like, some cool action poses or something, then you make them a puppet and then you press edit. It's, it's in advancements, then you go over to puppet. Oopsie, oopsie. Okay. You go over to puppet. Right there, and then you just click edit. And then, basically, you can animate them if you move them certain ways, and then they just randomly move that way like that. And then you can make them super fast or super slow. So, uh, basically, that's that's that. And I put a beak and a ears on them, and I made them have no legs and that. But anyway, we'll get into that in just a minute. This uh, is an animation I did. This dude is rocking out. His player is Reaper makes sense right but yeah there's the animation there also I made this thing to show you off or show you that you can make the poses kind of like here's Lance and Kyle and Aubrey from our night watch series Lance is punching Kyle yeah um, you can give them HD skins here in the um, thing here you just gotta make a HD skin thing which I might make a video on later because some people don't know how but as you can see, I got Kyle here, and I got Aubrey. She's kind of covering her face. We got um, Lance, and yeah. But there's the action poses, kind of. I'm bad at it, but you know. So, I'll show you how to do this. Right-click the ground, and this pops up. Uh, let's make this... Uh, let's make this... Me. Let's make this Chrissy. And you can choose whether to hide or show or whatever. I'll just let it show. And then you come over here. If you switch this to player, then you can um, make it into a player. And you just type in the player's name. And then you should... Oh, dear. I forgot about the eyes. And then it should pop up into you. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is not me. It must not have loaded. Er, hold on. Uh, let's make this into... Huh, how about instead... Let's make this into... You know what, let's make this into a Steve. Let's make this some sort of a Steve here. Arctic Steve, huh. We got a steampunk Steve. It doesn't really look like a steampunk Steve, but let's call him steampunk Steve. Steampunk, steampunk Steve. And there we go, we got Steampunk Steve. And you see the eyes, if you don't like those eyes, then you click on him, you right click him every time you want to change something with the NPC wand. Because if you only do that, then this is the um, preset that you have for every single one. Now you go here and then you got your texture here, but then if you go, um, if you go to model here, then you can change and stuff. We got legs, we got, it's basically like more player models in this kind of thing here. Uh, but uh, we don't want him to have the eyes. You can change it to big eyes, and you can make them low and high, but I think I'll keep him with that. Basically, it's just more player models. So, uh, what you want to do is, um, 
basically, we already know what the puppeting does. It's pretty easy, basically. Yeah, it's weird. But you can set presets and stuff. Okay, so what we want to do is what we're learning is we're going to learn um, how to do the dialogues. Now, what you want to do is you want to go all the way over to global. And you press dialogues. And there's going to be a preset here, which is the villager, which you don't really need. You're gonna press. You're gonna go to the dialogue thing, and you're gonna press add. Now you go to new, call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Steampunk Steve. Steampunk Steve. Okay, so you're basically gonna only need one for whatever. But then when you got that, you gotta click it, make sure it's selected. Then you press dialogues, and it goes to categories. Now you press add a category, and we're gonna make new. This will be one. To keep it in order, I'm gonna keep it one. Uh, now we're gonna basically call this. Uh, what is he gonna say? He's gonna be like, hello, or he's gonna be shouting it apparently, hello! Um, now we're not gonna worry about the dialogue options or what everybody's gonna say yet. Um, we have to make the other ones first. Now we add the second one. I'm gonna make it called two. Um, let's say, let's see, uh, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Okay, and then we're going to add another one. Uh, this is probably dragging on for y'all, but whatever, I don't care. I'm trying to teach you something. It usually takes a while to teach you. I have a question, and then he's gonna, his question is going to be... Um, his question is going to be... Uh, uh, are you... S how about are you single? Are you single? Okay, and then we're going to make another one. Cause, so if you, if you deny... Let's say in this one, if he says, I have a question, and then you're going to, we're going to put in like, um, I'll get to that later. Uh, this is going to be three deny or buy, whatever, three buy. So, oh, uh, he's going to be like, oh, okay. See ya. He's going to be like that. Okay. And then, uh, basically what's going to happen is we're going to go all the way back to one and then we're going to go to dialogue options. Which is, uh, he's gonna, he says hello. Yeah, hello. And then the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to, um, go to dialogue options here. Uh, we're gonna go to the first one, which shall not be talk. It'll be like, hello. And you can change the color and all this jazz. If you want. Um, and then the dialogue, what you do is you want it right here. To continue the dialogue, you gotta keep it on dialogue, select dialogue, and this is where it got me hung up. I did not know that I had to pick the next one so that it would go into the next one. I always got super confused, but what's gonna happen is you're on the first dialogue here. Uh, you're gonna make this thing go into the next dialogue. Say if you're on the, let's say you're on the first dialogue. This is very confusing, isn't it? But like, you're on the first dialogue, you do not want to select the first dialogue that you're on. You want to select the next one from yours. Um, so we're going to select two. Now, uh, if you want to say bye, then I guess you can uh, go... Thou if you want to have a bye thing, which I won't, I won't have one. No, decent. Bit. Okay, we're not going to have... So we got our dialogue here thing. We got our dialogue thing here. Now what we're going to do is add this dialogue to him. Now, we're going to go over to advancements underneath the job and the role and all the li and the lines. We're going to press dialogues. Now we're going to press select option on the first one. Now you click the first one for the one you have set up and then over here we're going to set up the second one and then the third one and then the other third one and then we got that there so let's see how this works so far so far let's see hello it's like hello I have a question see now we can't say anything else because we haven't fixed that okay so we're gonna go back to dialogues over here and we we'll go to the second one now what we're gonna say is gonna be like we're gonna say something like oh what what what's your question What's your question? And then we gotta select the third one since we are on the uh, second one. Select the third one. Uh, and this is gonna continue on. Now, uh, your 
your other one, if you're go if we want him to say, if we want you to say, if you want to say goodbye, then you say, uh, no, <laughs> no thanks, bye. Uh, and then we go all the way to dialogue. Then we click Steampunk Steve and press the three bye. Okay, let's see how this is working now. <clears throat> Hello, Steampunk Steve. Hello. I have a question. Okay, so, basically, see, it's working so far. And it's like, oh, what's your question? Are you single? And that's basically where we ended it. But if we press, uh, uh, no thanks, bye. Then he's like, oh, okay, see ya. And then you leave. So that's how that works. So, basically, you just want to continue doing that with the dialogues and stuff. You just keep going. And then, so let's say we want him to stay in one spot, Steampunk Steve. We want him to stay in one spot and we don't want him to do anything. So we go to advance. Let's mess with the puppet here for a second. Got puppet here. We go all the way to puppet. We press edit. Now we got this dude here. Now, uh, now, uh, we got a, we got the body here and everything. Okay, so you can press enabled and disabled. If you do that, then you press disabled and it does that, so... Uh, let's fix that. Press A. Cool stance. Let's say um, he's going to be like looking to the side or up in the sky to the side. Kind of. And he's pointing. He's like, what's up there? Look up there. Uh, to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'd put the other one back kind of. Like, what's up there? And like I said, if you want to make it an anima animation, then you just press yes, and then change it. <laughs> but we don't want to do that right now. Okay, so we got him like that. We've got him like this. But then you're like, he keeps moving. How am I going to record if he keeps on moving? Are you moving, boy? Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, so he keeps on moving. Yeah, he moves his body around. If you're in the middle of the recording or something, you don't want him to move his body around. That'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Alright, so what you want to do with that is how, like, how I kept these people from moving right here. Unless you talk to them, then they move to look at you. But then they go back to their position, right? Okay, so what you want to do there, what you want to do there is you want to come to um, uh, AI. And then you press movement and then rotation manual right here. You switch it from body to manual. Now... He shouldn't move anymore. He's just looking off that way. But if you want him to look a certain way, I'm not the best at which way they look, but let's say go to 100. Then he turns and looks this way. But the movement, if you do the manual, then it goes like that. What if we do 99? Will it change a little? Not much. Uh, how about... What if we do 50? He kind of changes his course. So, basically, if you want him to look a certain way and then not move at all, except breathe, then you can do the manual movement. That's how you do the dialogues, which we covered a little bit more than just dialogues. But I know it was kind of short on the dialogues, but that's basically what you do. You keep adding into your dialogue with the same thing and here we'll do it again just so you know okay so here's four he will be like yay not single or he'll be like oh wanna date me and then um okay so over here we got um what's he saying are you single okay so we got our dialogue options it's like uh We'll say the first one will be, yep. So we gotta, oops. If you're saying yes, you're single, there's your yep. Which I don't think anybody's gonna be like this, but you know. Okay, then you make it go into four. Basically, you make the, since you're on the third one, you make it go into the fourth one or whichever one you want in. Because if you just put it in the third one or the one that did, if you put it in the one that you're in, then it will make you quit, basically. 
So, you want it to go into four. So, let's say you're going to be like rude and be like, nope, I got a boyfriend. Boyfriend slash girlfriend. I got it. No, I got it. Okay, you're like, nope. Okay, so then we choose. Okay, for that, that'll be just something else because we'll have to make another one for that. And this one will be like, not interested. Not interested. Now here we're going to make it um, close. It's good. This is going to make us close like you're running away or something. So. Uh, now over here you're going to be like. On the fourth one you'll be like sure. Or like. Um, no. No. And we'll make that close, too. So, let's add one more. Make it five. Oopsie, I named that one five. I meant to go over here and name this one five. Five. Okay, and then he's going to say, yay. Okay, so he's he's saying yay with the whatever. We're going to make another one for four and he, when you reject him. Four. Deny. We're going to make the four deny. <laughs> Okay, so, he's going to be like, oh, sorry I asked. That's common. So, oh, sorry I asked. So, basically, we want, um, we want, uh, we want the three, not the three by, this one, three by. We want not interested, that will be closed, and nope will be like, nope will go into the, um, for deny and I think that we can make the five go into the four deny just in case you say no on this one too um, okay so we'll make this one go into the four deny So, alright, let's go back to dialogues, add in his dialogues. Four, and then four deny, and then let's in the, add in five. Alright, let's see how this is working. Okay, so let's see how this works. Hello, I have a question. Oh, what's your question? Are you single? Okay, so you got your three things here, yep. Yep. Nope. Not interested. Let's do not interested first. That closes the whole thing. Hello. Okay, let's try nope. And he's like, oh, sorry I asked. And then you gotta close. And he's like, hello again. Okay, let's do yep this time. And then he's like, oh, wanna date me? And he's like, sure. But then you basically just got that because we haven't really added in the last thing. So... For um, what you want to do on five, since that hasn't whatever, we gotta make this. We gotta we gotta make um we gotta make our four sure go into the steampunk five here. Now let's see how it works. Hello. Oh, what's your question? Yep. And it's like, oh, want to date me? Sure. And it's like, yay! And that's the end of your conversation. So basically, that's it. You'll kind of have to fool around with it and things. But also other things, such as the mounter, which you can mount them. I'm not sure exactly what the rest of them do. But I think this makes a path for them. A scripter, and I don't know what to do with the rest of them. But I thought I would show you how to do the dialogue, because I didn't know how and whatever. So, you know. Um... Thank y'all for watching. Uh, hope you have a blessed day and like if you liked it and hopefully it helped you because this was supposed to help. It's kind of the custom NPCs mod showcased. Only it's not completely because I only did the dialogue, the puppet and whatever. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Have a blessed day and ciao!